name is Michael Musioka. I'm a painter. I've always been painting ever since I was a, a, a little kid. I went to Buruburu Institute of Fine Arts and uh, you know the experiences that I got there have got me where I am today. I'm a very big fan of surrealism. Um, I have also influences in um, cubism. There's one painting by Duchamp called uh, Nude Descending Staircase that sort of opened my mind to new possibilities and uh, you know I think it's what got my style going. Locally I have so many guys that uh, influence my works. I'm a big fan of sculptors. Um, you know I follow uh, Kaigua, Meshak Oiro. I love junk sculpture a lot. Uh, you know Dennis Muraguri is also uh, one of the guys I follow closely. Collage. James Njoroge is, is one of the guys I, I also, you know, uh, I look up to. Uh, guys like uh, uh, Peterson Kamwathi, so the guys that get my creative juices going also. I just love assemblages. And let me call them assemblages. Assemblages or, uh, you know, you know, sort of, you know, carving in paint, yeah? You know, so I would, I would uh, you know, uh, break down things in faucets and you know make make them look uh, 3d um give them a little depth so at the end of the day i i end up having uh you know maybe things stacking into one another i just i think i just love the complexity you know somebody somebody once told me that uh, i i struggle too much to make my my paintings look complicated but you know i, I really don't uh, that's what i like doing this is social mobility it's all about uh, you know movement of people you know um up and down a social ladder this is an experience i've, I've had you know um in life that higher up the social strata there is west guys from you know from westlands you know if you, if you look at how the community ha has taught us to believe or you know that west westlands is you know uh kwama babi eastlands is for guys you know who are uh, below way down below the the social strata um, middle class, lower class, Westland is for upper class and, and so on. So for me, my West is pointing up instead of north and my East is pointing downwards. In the East you find a lot of guys, you know, uh, idling uh, in jobless corner over there. So um, this scenery right here uh, represents you know um, the corporate actually this this is the corporate scene as I see it as I view it so you find that uh, you know just the struggles of going up the, the, the social ladder um, getting a promotion somebody has you know to uh, <laughs> to go through a lot <laughs> yeah so yeah that's that's what's happening over there and uh down here we have you know some some people some people have to uh you know get married into richness so as to be elevated to a higher social strata some people have to give up uh, uh, away a lot you know, this is this is a corporate scene now. This is a HR human resource. So you know, some people have to sleep with the HR to go to, to get a promotion or even get hired. <laughs> yeah. So um, the policeman here represents um, obstacles. This guy is on his way up a social ladder, but to get through, he'll maybe have to bribe his way. You know, to go to go up there. 
others have to rely on connections you know once once you have uh, you have a relative you know holding a high office in probably government or a, or an institution you know it's easier for them to you know to to go up uh, the social ladder you know and and others um, you know they, they 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 have sought refuge um, you know in in uh, religion yeah so you know mbegu ya triten is just what's been going on in Nairobi uh, over the past few uh, years you know the tree here represents um, shows that you know the mbegu isn't always as fruitful as uh, um, you know people think just you know however much they're convinced that going through through that that path is going to get them higher uh, on the social strata you know it's it's not always true so that's that's exactly what's what's going on over there i don't know how this guy got here you know there's those people who overtake you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, those guys who overtake you and you know you wonder hey, yeah, how, how did this guy get here you know so this this guy over here represents that some people have gone through the education system the norm but you know they get dropped uh, as fast as somebody who's not experienced so uh, this this guy represents you know the the academicians who haven't um, who, who, who are still low, who are not accepted in, uh, you know, in, uh, in, the, co in, the, in the corporate, uh, you know, scene or, or, or uh, you know, the market scene, the marketplace rather. Yeah, so that's, that's that guy over there. I just started exhibiting my pieces um, last year and guys, um, the, the collectors of, of art haven't really warmed up to my to my to my works so I find it a challenge sometimes to you know to to sell uh, enough pieces although, although right now um, if I compared it to like a year ago things are sort of uh, starting to get better but you know there's always that of course uh, you know not everybody is it's not my, my pieces i can't say my pieces are, are hot cakes yet as compared to other other artists because i'm you know I'm, I'm very new if i compared myself to you know the, the other artists that have been in the industry for a while so it's you know i i always get a, a challenge you seeing guys starting to appreciate you know um Art and and these are these are Kawaida Kenyans buying art at very um, you know uh, at prices that you wouldn't expect um, you know a Kenyan to be buying art. So you know, I think uh, economically speaking, we are um, rather not economically speaking, but you know, commercially where we are in this industry, we are better off than where we used to be but i would i would brag that we are the, the the industry is at a good place when i see i see art being taught in in in, um, in public schools that's when that's when i'll know that uh, yeah we, apple uh, we are we are at a good place yeah but until then we're still lagging behind we're still lagging behind i'm not very much into into decorative arts i i believe that uh, you know art or rather my art has to have a deeper meaning than you know just what's on the surface and uh you know in the next few years i'd like i'd like you know my art to affect people I've, you know um not just i don't want it to just be something good to look at you know something 
yeah of course i want i want it to be something good to look at but i, I don't want it to be just something to decorate a wall okay mm -hmm. just i want it to have a soul yeah so uh, and uh, you know that that's what i i really I, i'd really love my art to be in the next few years maybe it is for for maybe for some people it already is but uh, you know i want i want my art to have soul yeah that's that's what i look forward to